There's a tremendous list of options for building materials. Wood and steel, types of flooring and climate control, levels of insulation, and there are pros and cons to everything. Next, we're featuring some materials that could surround us in homes of the future. Our homes of the future may not look different, but how they're built may be completely new. Building materials are getting a makeover, and companies are rethinking how homes are designed. So right now, yep. we are essentially in the penthouse. Why isn't this a fancy apartment? For Biomason, innovation means redesigning one of construction's most popular materials. You're actually trying to then grow the cement, right? That's right. How do you actually do that? We take bacteria and we put it in our aggregate and grows around each grain of aggregate as cement components. It literally is just using the same organisms that are already doing things similar in, nature. in a marine environment. Exactly. Right. Building the homes of the future may mean planning for catastrophes. Hurricane Sandy devastated New York in 2012. A few weeks later, JDS development started planning their newest high-rise. When we started designing this building right after Hurricane Sandy, um, we were working with a group of 50 or 60 people that had all just lived through the problem. And so we went around the room and we said, what happened to you? They designed flood-proofing measures below the building and installed a fleet of generators where the penthouse would be. But most buildings, at least in Manhattan, don't do this. No, nobody does this. The notion that you can't leave or that you shouldn't leave or that it's safer in your building than outside um, is a relatively new concept. Natural gas power generators means that residents will have power even if the rest of Manhattan is in the dark. In the future, smart tech won't be limited to inside your home. How we're building is changing, even if you can't see it.